someone took my work. Are you okay? It's more like a psychotic break. Was a twisted way which brought thee hither. We are talking Cram. This is a 2021 movie directed by Abby Sedell. Now, interestingly, this is kind of a long short film in a way. It only runs about 45 minutes, including credits. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a little bit of an odd length, really. Too too short to be a uh, feature length, but too long really to kind of feature in a like an anthology or something. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, and it's a 2021 film, I think, released on, like, festivals. So, it's getting it shouldn't release in 2023. And it's kind of a movie about students. I, I would suggest for students. Now, the story focuses on this kind of, this young, this young guy. And he's kind of studying for his final, uh, you know, his final exam and what have you. And he has to write this final paper. But he's been a bit of a slacker and really hasn't kind of done much for it. And his friends aren't, aren't prepared to let him copy their work. So he has to have an all-night cramming session in the uh, in the library and try and kind of get this kind of paper done in kind of record time. But when he's there, he starts experiencing strange supernatural occurrences, including this uh, entity who uh, seems to reside in this library, but other kind of strange visions, including kind of like nightmarish vampire students, among other things. Now, what will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let's talk about what I think works for this movie. Um, now I think this movie is is meant to be uh, a, a, a kind of a metaphor, so to speak, for the depiction of a student's mental uh, struggles of trying to get all their work done. That's kind of what I'm, I think this movie is trying to say, and the kind of the amount of um, stress and pressure that maybe you might be on as a kind of big student, especially if you are kind of you know, not all that prepared. And that's kind of where I think the movie's message is. Um, it, on a technical level, this movie is pretty proficiently made. Uh, being a sort of a, a, such a short running time, I can't imagine this had a huge kind of budget really, but it's, it's pretty well put together in regards to technical elements. There are one or two kind of quite creepy sequences, especially one involving this kind of photocopier, which I thought was probably the best kind of traditional kind of horror scene in the movie. And there are some kind of fun, kind of dark humour elements in this movie as well, which I thought was was all, was all quite interesting. Uh, the movie kind of plays a little bit like a cross between a kind of a college romp, dark humoured comedy and a horror, with a kind of art house twist. Um, the acting, I would say, is all fairly good as well. You know, it's it's. I think everyone was believable in their roles here, and th there are some kind of, as I say, it's an interesting kind of idea. I think. Um, and it starts off pretty kind of in a traditional kind of style uh, and then kind of goes into more of the wacky and bizarre. But let's transition to what doesn't really work, at least for me. Wacky and bizarre. Um, like I said, this movie kind of starts out relatively straight. You know, the setup is, is relatively straightforward. We kind of understand where the kind of our, our characters are. And then kind of once we get into the kind of the supernatural shenanigans, it just gets a little weird. It gets very kind of trippy. Uh, there's, a, there's a hint that kind of drugs are involved. And it just gets like lots of surreal with, with kind of lots of surreal images with kind of like uh, supernatural overtones and kind of comedic beats for the rest of the movie. That's kind of it. Um, so it's, I have to be honest with you, I didn't really know what was going on. Um, so the, the message really was somewhat kind of lost on me. So, you know, maybe this is kind of designed, like I said, for specifically kind of students who are in that position. But as an outsider, I was kind of watching it and thinking, I understand the setup, but as to what's kind of going on after that, I don't really know. It just seems like lots of kind of like weird, bizarre images kind of just, let's just try and make it. Super kind of trippy and, and, and odd and kind of like, um, you know, just kind of very art house sensibilities for no real kind of tangible narrative reason. At least I didn't get it. 
Um, and then we have our, I've got to be honest with you, our kind of, let's just call it our antagonistic entity. I don't know if that really worked. Uh, I, I won't say why necessarily, but the makeup effects were a little bit kind of, they look like an 80s supernatural comedy. Um, it's, it's an, it, I can't understand what they were really going for with this one. And because obviously the film is, is kind of short, you, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm in two minds about the length of it because maybe if it was longer, it would have had a bit more kind of like narrative structure in it and you could have kind of understood, understood it a little more. But then on the flip side, I don't really know if, I, if it was carried on the same way as it was in this kind of like second half of the movie. God, that would just be a... That would just be a nightmare. I was actually quite pleased with the, kind of the short running time, to be honest with you. Because it was like, I'm just looking at a bunch of kind of random scenes. And some of them are kind of like more comedic. Some of them are kind of like a little bit more kind of traditionally scary or what have you. But I don't really get what the kind of the narrative is meant to be in this one. Uh, so overall, I have to say it was a little bit of a confusing mess. I think the ability is there for it to have a, um, you know, well put together film in a technical standpoint but this, the narrative to me was completely lost i'll give this one a four out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now